Imagine two of the most talented basketball players, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, not just dominating the court, but also igniting a cultural firestorm. Clark, the record-breaking phenom from Iowa, and Reese, the unapologetic powerhouse from Baltimore, are more than athletes. They're at the center of a heated ideological battle. With their fierce rivalry and mutual respect, could they be the ones to challenge and ultimately transform woke culture in sports? Caitlin Clark's rise in the world of basketball is nothing short of extraordinary. Playing for the University of Iowa, she shattered records and redefined what it means to be a top collegiate athlete. Clark wasn't just good, she was phenomenal. She broke the NCAA Division I scoring record, racking up an astounding 3,951 points, a feat unmatched by both women and men. Her incredible performance on the court earned her the number one pick by the Indiana Fever in the WNBA draft. But it's not just her stats that make her a standout. Caitlin has garnered a massive following, becoming a national figure and an inspiration to countless fans. Her journey from a college star to a professional player has been marked by dedication, talent, and an undeniable impact on the sport. So she's been always really good since college. Her game is translating really well, and I'm picking up on that too. I want to be a rebounder. I want to be able to make layups. On the other side of the court, we have Angel Reese whose path to the WONBA is equally compelling. Reese was a high school All-American, well-known among basketball enthusiasts long before she led LSU to the 2023 NCAA Championship. Her performance was nothing short of spectacular, culminating in a victory over Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes in the title game. Standing tall at 60 hours three, Reese's presence on the court is commanding. She was picked seventh overall by the Chicago Sky, bringing her brash and unapologetic style to the professional ranks. Reese, raised in Baltimore, a city often associated with its challenges, embodies resilience and self-confidence. She's not just a player, she's a symbol of modern-day self-promotion and individualism, challenging traditional perceptions sin, and carving her path. I think um, our future is bright, you know, and I'm just so proud of her and everything that she's doing out there. Chris Penn of CHGO Sports. Uh, Angel, Camilla, this question is for both of you. The emergence of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese in the WNBA has ignited a cultural war that goes beyond basketball. This isn't just about sports. It's about the clash between traditional values and modern ideologies. Caitlin Clark has become a symbol of nationalism representing the traditional conservative values that many Americans hold dear. She's seen as the embodiment of hard work, dedication, and a certain old school charm that resonates with fans who cherish the stars and stripes. In this cultural war, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are more than just basketball players. They are symbols of the broader ideological battles being waged in our society. Their careers and public personas highlight the tensions between traditional values and modern ideologies, and their stories offer a lens through which we can explore the ongoing debates about identity, race, and the future of our culture. As they continue to excel in their careers, Clark and Reese remind us that sports can be a powerful arena for societal reflection and change. Caitlin Clark has single-handedly sparked an unprecedented surge in the popularity of women's basketball. Her exceptional skills on the court, coupled with her charismatic presence, have drawn fans from all walks of life. It's not just about her scoring records, it's about the energy and excitement she brings to the game. People tune in to watch Clark because she offers something genuinely thrilling. However, with fame comes scrutiny. Clark has faced her share of criticisms, including accusations of reverse racism. Some critics argue that her prominence is inflated because she's white, while black players with similar or superior skills don't receive the same level of attention. It's a contentious point, especially when you consider legends like Diana Taurasi and Brianna Stewart, both of whom are white and have been widely celebrated for their talents. The truth is, Clark's impact on the game is undeniable. Angel Reese, on the other hand, brings a different kind of dynamism to the court. Hailing from Baltimore, a city notorious for its struggles with violence, 
Reese embraces her background with pride. She's unapologetically herself, and that authenticity resonates with many. Reese challenges the conservative values and sensibilities that often dominate sports culture. She's vocal, she's brash, and she doesn't shy away from controversy. This has led to a false dichotomy in public discourse, where Reese and Clark are painted as opposites in a cultural war. But this narrative is misleading. Reese isn't the anti-Clark, nor is Clark the anti-Reese. They're both exceptional athletes with their unique strengths and stories. The media loves to pit them against each other, but in reality, they share more commonalities than differences. Their mutual respect and admiration for each other highlight the absurdity of this manufactured rivalry. Despite the media's attempts to create friction, the rivalry between Clark and Reese is a healthy one that benefits the sport. Think about the legendary rivalry between Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Their competition pushed both players to greater heights and captivated audiences. Clark and Reese have the potential to do the same for women's basketball. Their on-court battles are thrilling, but it's their off-court relationship that truly sets them apart. Both players recognize the value of their rivalry and the positive impact it has on the game. The upcoming WNBA All-Star Game is a perfect example of this unity. Clark and Reese will be teaming up for Team WNBA, showing the world that they can work together just as effectively as they compete against each other. This collaboration is exciting for fans and signifies a shared vision for the future of the game. Looking ahead, there's even talk of them playing together in the 2028 Olympics. Imagine that two of the brightest stars in women's basketball joining forces on the world stage. It's a tantalizing prospect that could further elevate the sport's profile and inspire a new generation of players. The media has had a field day with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, creating a whirlwind of controversies and discussions around their careers. It's almost like the media thrives on pitting them against each other making it seem like there's some deep-seated rivalry fueled by ideological differences. You've probably noticed how every game, every comment, every interaction between them gets dissected and twisted to fit some grand narrative. It's as if the media is determined to frame this as a battle between good and evil, traditional values versus modern ideologies. Radical right-wing elements have jumped on this bandwagon too, pushing narratives that serve their agendas. They paint Clark as the wholesome all-American girl, embodying traditional values that they claim are under attack. On the other hand, they cast Reese as the antagonist, the brash and unapologetic figure who challenges these values. It's a simplistic and divisive portrayal, but it resonates with certain segments of the audience who are all too eager to see the world in black and white. What's frustrating is that these narratives often ignore the complexities and nuances of both athletes. For instance, Clark has faced accusations of reverse racism, with some claiming that she receives undue attention and praise because she's white. This argument is not only unfair, but also detracts from her genuine talent and hard work. Meanwhile, Reese is often depicted as a symbol of modern-day self-promotion and individualism, but this overlooks her incredible skill and the unique challenges she's overcome. Despite all this noise, Clark and Reese have remained remarkably focused on what matters most, basketball. They've shown a mutual respect that's often missing in the media's portrayal. It's almost like they're saying, we're here to play the game we love, not to be used as pawns in some ideological war. Both have refused to be weaponized by any faction, maintaining their integrity and focus on their careers. This is especially evident in their public statements and actions. Clark and Reese consistently emphasize their respect for one another and their shared goal of advancing women's basketball. They've navigated the media storm with a level of grace and maturity that's truly commendable. For instance, during interviews, they steer the conversation back to their love for the game and their excitement about the future, rather than getting bogged down in the drama created by others. Their stance is a powerful statement in itself. It shows that they are not defined by the controversies swirling around them, but by their own merits and achievements. 
By focusing on basketball and refusing to be drawn into ideological battles, Clark and Reese are setting a positive example for athletes everywhere. They're demonstrating that it's possible to rise above the fray, to stay true to oneself, and to keep the love of the sport at the forefront. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.